Let me tell you one of the things I remember so much from that first visit. It was a very hot day outside Ho Chi Minh City, and you had several men, their legs had been blown off by landmines. They were sitting there, and they'd been crawling for years on the ground, the only way they could get around. One of the men who had been injured just stared at me, and I thought, he must, he must hate me. And they said, yeah, I picked him up, I put him in the wheelchair, I started to get up, he grabbed my shirt, he pulled me down, and he kissed me. I'll never, ever forget that. I went back and I told President Bush, and I saw tears in his eyes when I told him. So I committed myself to doing more for Vietnam. And I know sometimes in these things there's two steps forward, one step back, but you have to keep trying. John McCain, John Kerry had, others had. And then they, the Vietnamese proposed what would be a major operation to clean up Agent Orange at Da Nang. And I looked into it, realized it would cost uh, in aid from the United States hundreds of millions of dollars. It was a tremendous operation, but we did it. And then I talked more with the Vietnamese, and they said, you know, we had the same situation at Benoit. General Mattis was our Secretary of Defense. I talked with him about it. I said, we're going to need some defense funds as well as other funds to clean it up. He said, well, I'm going over there. I'm going to check it out. He came back and said, let's do it. And I will go uh, to Benoit where we're going to do this. But we're also using the Leahy War Victims Fund to help children and others who have been injured. Many of them have uh, birth defects because of Agent Orange, not just landmines, which I've always opposed. My wife and I have visited a number of those families, and we've seen what it's like. Um, as long as I'm in the Senate, I'll keep on doing this.